Okay, so we got to line up this way because you got a pimple. I got a black eye, and we got to line up this way. But here's the so thing: what's is more important, my black eye or his pimple? And I just pointed it out. Yeah. So now your your whole view and which side is totally screwed. But so here's there. here's ah. here's the thing: is you're supposed to be a badass, right? And I'm, I'm just a, I'm retired. I'm, I'm, I'm a dad. I'm not supposed to be a badass anymore. I, I don't know, man. I mean, this this leather coat. I mean, oh, you I'm just fashionable. But it uh, you know, doesn't mean I'm a badass. I mean, but you have certainly done many, many badass things. I mean, sure. you know, sure. just falling I mean, off ladders. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if that's badass or just dumb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is, I guess there's a little truth in it. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you're, you'd know better than me. But certainly badass, I mean, rated R. You don't get to be rated R without being like a badass. Yeah, well, I mean, fictionally, sure. Sure. Yeah. Are we gonna start the interview now? Should we start I that? I figured we already were. I didn't. I just. I. I should probably do like a, a thing at the top. I. I think that that was the top. That was the. That was the top. I think that was the top. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Well, I guess we're in this thing here now. Then. So, Edge. Uh. Thank you. Uh, okay. Wait. Now, just for peace of mind, because I'm very, very neurotic. Yes. I have to say. Okay. No, you. I. I hadn't. I hadn't gleaned that yet. Oh, really? Because the like, you know, I don't know. I just. I keep. I keep moving. You know. I keep I going. I really hope you guys use all this. Oh. This is good stuff. Oh. Ab yeah. Absolutely. Right now, yeah, this is this is spot on, hundred percent grade A word juice. Word juice, that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that someday. Good, yeah, absolutely. Steal, it's fine. We're all, right. all just borrowing from borrow. you. Borrow, borrow. Right. That's fine. I absolutely am honored that you I'm are Canadian. I don't steal. Oh yeah, well we're Americans. I don't know if you follow our politics, but I don't on purpose. Oh yeah, we're all very we're very proud thieves here in America. Steal votes, steal money. It's all up for grabs. All right. right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. It's me, Nick Hausman, here at the Sideline Sports Memorabilia, brought to uh, bringing you an interview with Edge, brought to you by the Lifestyle Sports Group. And here it is, without further ado, my interview with the Rated R superstar, Edge. Right. Edge, I want to thank you very much for the time right now. Obviously, you guys just wrapped season one, Edge of Christian. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I want to ask, though, you guys got a lot away. You got away with a lot. Like you said, you did, you said did a lot of things, walked the line. You know, people were like, Oh, I can't believe they did that. Did they do it just like that, like Macaulay Culkin? Yeah, yeah. They did? They were nice. like, ah! Uh, and that took place in Illinois, which is where we are, so yeah. see what I do? Absolutely. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Yep, yep. Okay. I, got, I got a big brain. <laughs> good, yeah. That's what they tell me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's good. Uh, they were like, ah, Edge and just Christian, like ah, Edge and Christian, you know, uh, I can't believe they did that. Now, with you, though, uh, is there anything that you pitched or maybe Christian pitched that you wanted to do, but WWE was like, ah, I'm sorry, that's, that's going a little too far? Um, let me think. Let me think. I know there was like one or two things. Okay. Um, they'll come to me. But we had a lot of, obviously, free reign um, to just to – just do do what we wanted and, and spitball and throw stuff at the at the wall to see what would stick. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were given we were given a lot of freedom. So you're saying really no, not really much that you guys were told you no, couldn't do. No, like, like I said, I think there was like one thing and I can't even recall it right now. Um, okay. You guys weren't going to try to recreate the Hogan tape or something like that, right? No, no, wouldn't. <laughs> it, uh, oh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, but you could we, replace certain words with other words to make we, it funny. We did, we did mention him though, which. Uh, no one has been doing no. so the fact that we uh, we slid that one through and um, I don't know we're just having a good time yeah. really is what it is so I think people get that I, th I think initially there was some confusion uh, as well and what the show was going to be mm -hmm. um, and if people were looking for a narrative thread or some form of sense then this was the wrong place it's it was a not sketch show yeah it's a, it's a sketch show and I don't think that was understood at first right but I think people started to it's like oh okay it's not supposed to make sense yeah um, and uh, you know I mean, if you look at SCTV or kids in the hall kids I was gonna say kids in the hall Canadian that's your style it's kind of what we're going for but with a, a wrestling based um, theme to it you know and the the, the comedy aspect of, derives from wrestling um it's never been done before so yeah. does that work doesn't it I, I don't know but we had a good time doing it well and i mean like on a comedy nerd note i noticed you guys started like going a little bit more topical like you started with a lot of kind of evergreen comedy and by the end you were really hitting the stuff that again people were kind of scared to talk about and I, I really thought you guys found a great groove i'm super excited about season two um yeah we'll see if there is one i don't know um I don't I, I don't know if I want to, to oh, be perfectly honest. Really? So um, it was a lot of work. Yeah, I mean um, I it was a lot of work, you know. We we ended up you know, 
us and a few writers. So we were writing, producing, uh, editing. It was, it was a lot. Yeah. And it was great fun doing it. Um, but the before and after, I mean, it's just a lot of work. Uh. Um, I've never executive produced a show before, so I didn't understand everything that that entails. Now, uh, having done your own WWE Network show, obviously the newly announced show is the Foley family. Mick, Noel, the whole family, the Foley clan are getting a show. Do you have any advice for them having already kind of gone through the process of developing a show uh, as they go into their own? I, I would think it's going to be a different uh, different template. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think I think theirs will go more the family reality r route. Yeah. Um, I could be totally wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's the case, I, I would assume it wouldn't be quite so much um, probably writing scenarios, not writing skits and bits and trying to find humor. Because the funniest thing or the hardest thing to do is to be funny. Yeah. Um, because if you try too hard, man, <laughs> it will fail uh, horribly. <laughs> so. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Which we did on a bunch of occasions cause, because you can't have, you know, half an hour sketch comedy show be, you know, uh, slap your knee funny the entire time. It's just not possible. And yeah. I think once we got by the idea of that, kind of once we got the first three shows under our belt, because we filmed those. So here's the story. Okay. I'm interested. ADD. Um, so we filmed the first three shows in three days, which if Best. you tell anyone in television that that's dumb it's crazy yeah it's too much um it is so we we got up there uh initially we thought we were gonna have a pilot and a week to shoot it and that became you know classic wwe style it's like yeah, yeah we got this and uh and we got through it but um that was the first three episodes if, if you notice uh that we started to find our groove more by the fourth episode, fifth episode. That's why yeah. we actually had time. We had time to be able to uh, kind of flesh everything out instead of um, just hit the ground running. Man, I wish I had an hour with you, but I don't because I see all these great, wonderful wrestling fans that absolutely want your time and I'd like to give it to them. So I will cut to uh, my last big question for you then, Edge, in this interview. Uh, obviously, there was the big NXT title change this weekend. Samoa Joe, now the WWE NXT champion. Finn Balor, now the former champion. A lot of rumors, a lot of speculation about what could be in Finn Balor's future now that he's no longer the NXT champ. Uh, not that you know anything, but I mean, what would you like to see from Finn Balor now? Do you think this is the time for him to come to the main roster? Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, everybody, pretty much, pretty much everybody on NXT is ready to be on the main roster. Um, so w when is the right time? I don't know. You see AJ go straight from New Japan straight to, you know, uh, the main roster. Finn could have done the same thing. Joe yeah. could do the same thing. Yeah. I mean, Sammy could have done the same thing. Um, but NXT is a, is a great, um, not that those guys need it, but you need guys there in a developmental system like that to be able to lead and show the way for some of the younger guys that don't have that New Japan experience, who don't have some of that international um, cred under the belt already. Yeah. So it's really important to have a Finn and a Samoa Joe and, and uh, Sammy there to, to see, okay, well, this is where we need to get to to make it to the top here to then springboard um, past that to the main roster too. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's totally ready. And some of the matchups that you can think of already, I'm sure wrestling fans are like, wow, you know. Yeah, I totally have no idea. No idea what you're talking about. It's not like I work for WrestleZone where our forums are just filled with nothing right. but fantasy booking about all the things of Finn Balor. I, f I hear Finn Balor's even the social outcasts. <laughs> really? Yeah, this is what I just what I hear. I read it on the internet, so I guess it's got to be true. I mean, if it's there, it's definitely true. Uh -huh. I mean, we, we, we preach that daily on our show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Uh, well, Edge, thank you so much Thanks. for taking the time. I had an absolute blast. I want to know the story behind the black eye, but in my head, I want a fantasy book. How you got Did the black eye? Really I want the story of how I got a black eye. I mean, I don't want to hold these fans up, but do you want well, to tell the story? Well, now we're here. So, okay. Yeah. And I wish it were cool. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I was at my daughter's little gymnastics class, um, and she was on the uh, parallel bars. Uh, no, sorry, the uneven bars, because this is what got me. She's on the bottom bar swinging, and I caught her, okay. and then I stood up, and wham! I clotheslined myself in the face so hard. I haven't been hit that hard since I've been hit with ladders. Wow. Um, to the point where like the muscles in here are still twitching and I, it rocked me so hard and every parent saw it. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay. I can't, I can't, I can't. I thought it was bleeding. I was like, 
Look right, no blood. <laughs> I'm good, everybody. Were you yeah. down on the yeah. ground? Were you down on the ground, I like touching? Like, didn't drop me. Uh, but yeah. it was, it was, it was, yeah. So okay. Okay. that's how I got a black eye. You're like, oh, where's the producer right now? I need to call for a medic. Is yeah, that? That was my big, big black eye story. It was my, my daughter's little, little gym class. <laughs> well, there got me. See, I told you, total badass, right? <laughs> it's like can't that's even. That's why I said the badass thing is not really. Can't even. Apropos in this. Can't even go to a children's gymnastics event without giving and, yourself and a black w- eye. Without finding something to hit my face <laughs> off of. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Pretty much. Yeah. Edge, you know what? Thank you again. So, so much. Two handshakes, one interview. We're yeah. back here again at the Sideline Sports Memorial talking, They're talking with track. the man. Yeah, right? There you go. Rule of threes. Yeah. Comedy. Rule of threes. Mm-hmm. Del Close, Chicago. Uh, talking, right? Yeah, talking with the one and only rated R superstar Edge here for WZ TV.